Hey guys, welcome back. Now, as if the news that the world's largest asset manager BlackRock filed a Bitcoin ETF wasn't enough, now we have the CEO Larry Fink raving about crypto. However, lest we not forget that just a few years ago, Larry Fink had said, Bitcoin is the index of money laundering. Clearly not a fan. And in this video, you are going to be shocked at what Larry Fink has just said about crypto. And so we'll be covering a quick update story of what's happened over the past week. Then you'll hear Larry Fink raving about the benefits of blockchain technology. And then we'll finish up with BlackRock's master plan for crypto. What do they have in store? Okay, so first up to get everyone up to scratch with what's happened with BlackRock over the past week, basically the blue whale of investing has made their move on crypto. Since the start of 2023, Bitcoin has pulled off an absolute moonshot. The crypto of record has soared 83% with a good chunk of it coming since June 15th. That's when BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, filed an application for a spot Bitcoin trust ETF. BlackRock's iShares joins a crowd of fund managers from ARK to Invesco, Vanek, Grayscale, all these other fund companies that have been desperate to do the same, but they've been turned away by the SEC's bouncers, namely Chief Bouncer Gary Kensler. BlackRock's first application, actually, it's already been kicked back. The SEC demanded it name a surveillance partner to spot things like fraud and manipulation. And late last week, BlackRock and NASDAQ refiled naming Coinbase as the custodial surveillance partner of the Spot Bitcoin Trust. The crypto world pinning its hopes on BlackRock, which has a track record regulators say they find too good to reject. At least that's what people think. BlackRock's 576 ETF applications, 575 have been accepted and just one has been rejected. So the world's largest asset manager with an eye-watering $10 trillion of assets under management has made their move on the crypto market. And amazingly, out of 576 ETF applications, they've only ever had one been declined by the SEC, making it a 99.9% .9 chance that a Bitcoin spot ETF will finally get approved after 10 years of other companies trying. And so here is Larry Fink and hear what he just said about Bitcoin and crypto. You were kind of skeptical. Yeah, I, I was you? skeptical because the early users were it was heavily used for let's say illicit activities, um, and I think as it became more accessible, and also I do believe the role of crypto is um, it is it, it, it's digitizing gold in many yeah. ways. It's a it's a instead of investing in gold as a hedge against inflation, a hedge against the, uh, the onerous problems of any one country or, or, the, or the devaluation of your currency, whatever country you're in. Um, let's be clear, Bitcoin is an international asset. It's not based on any one currency. And so it, it, it can represent an asset that people can play but as an alternative. I would call the, the foundation of BlackRock is about hope. You invest for retirement because you believe tomorrow is better than today. And so 2023 is turning out to be a pivotal year for crypto as we see a 180 degree shift on the narrative. From money laundering to now Bitcoin being digital gold. And BlackRock believe that by investing in crypto, you are investing in hope and that your future will be better than it is today. And I couldn't say it better myself. However, let's just clear up one important point, and that is that Bitcoin was never just used for illicit activity. That is what people who had never done any research used to say. 
Just think about it. If you wanted to give someone $10,000 and for there to be no track, no trace of the transaction, then what do you use? You use cash. Cash is the ultimate currency for illicit activity, as every transaction is completely anonymous. And if you want a currency where every single transaction gets put onto a digital ledger for everybody to see, then you use Bitcoin, meaning it's a terrible currency for illicit activity. Anywho, now that Larry has done his research, let's hear him now sing the benefits of blockchain. Well, no, I actually believe the underlying technology is fantastic because oh, really? the blockchain will help you accelerate the processes of mm. transactions. The blockchain will help you identify. I mean, l let's be clear. If you have a pure blockchain and you have every you have knowledge of who the buyers and sellers are, we could then, you know, we don't need custodians anymore. Okay. We don't need, you know, the whole process of finance some of the intermediaries are broken down and so this is why if we're we all studying there, but we're not there we're not close to there well, but, it, but it's an advancement of technology and all of a sudden blockchain is amazing technology as he lists all the benefits that we've known on this channel for many years faster transactions cheaper transactions cutting out the middlemen can't be printed into oblivion better for the customer, etc, etc. And glad to hear that mainstream finance is finally catching up. Okay, so the question is, what is BlackRock's master plan for Bitcoin and crypto moving forward? Well, glad you asked. Specifically on, on Bitcoin, as I've said in the past, um, we're a believer in digitization of, of, of products. Um, you know, ETFs was a big revolution for the mutual fund industry, and it's really taking over the mutual fund industry. And we do believe that if we can create uh, 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 more tokenization of assets and securities, and that's what Bitcoin is, uh, it could revolutionize again uh, finance. And so we look at this as, a, as an opportunity to move one step further in terms of uh, providing uh, investors, um, uh, you know, fractions of shares, fractions of this, democratizing the cost of investing. You know, over the last 10 years, we've lowered the cost of iShares ETFs by 30%. So what, what we're trying to do is make it more accessible and more easy. Uh, the attempt in terms of uh, what we're trying to do with uh, with uh, uh, with crypto is make it more democratized with all the crypto and, and make it uh, much cheaper for investors. Right now, the bid ask spread for crypto is very expensive. It does erode a lot of the returns that you speak about because it costs a lot of money right now to transact Bitcoin and it costs a lot of money to get out of that. And so we hope uh, uh, the, our regulators look at these filings that it's a way to democratize uh, crypto and, 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 and we'll see in the future how that plays out. You Once a crypto skeptic, now raging crypto bull Larry Fink and $10 trillion BlackRock have made their move on the crypto market. In 2017, the narrative was that Bitcoin is the index of money laundering, and today we've had some amazing sound bites. Bitcoin is digital gold, blockchain is amazing technology, and crypto can revolutionize finance. And BlackRock are finally here to save the day to democratize and bring crypto to the masses, making it cheaper to buy and sell, and reminding us that by investing in crypto, it's giving us all hope for a better future. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. Now let me know your thoughts and comments about what Larry Fink just said below. And just remember to get rid of 100% of the comment spam and trading bots. We are trying out the new Super Thanks commenting system. And to make sure your comment or question gets read and replied to, or just to say thanks, try out the new Super Thanks below. And for now, just 
just to say, if you did enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.